my channel. My name is Bina Kreke Bina for those of you that are new here. If you are new, please subscribe to my channel. I think it's very important to me that you subscribe. If you are not subscribed, you're clicking to watch my new video. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Today, as you can see, I have my friends with me, have my peeps here with me, my people, people. <laughs> they have guests on my channel and they will be introducing themselves. They are my fellow core members in Hebrew State, so they will introduce myself. Let's do the ladies first. What's your name? My name is Lawa Kudrat. Yeah, her name is Lawa Kudrat. I call her Jumoke. <laughs> She's a very well named Jumoke, so I just say Jumoke. And. I am James Scarpness. You can call me Masterpiece. <laughs> You see, you can call him Masterpiece. Anyway, his name is God Bless, and um, I like to call him Tamari B because it's a joy, and I like to call him this journey. His name is Tamari B. For those of you that enjoy, call him Tamari B. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So, this video, as you mentioned, that the video is all about life as a Hebrew copper, how we've seen Hebrew state so far, from camp up until now, what has, how have Hebrew state been to us, and our, just our personal view as strangers in the land, just how we've seen Hebrew state so far. So, let's go. I have questions I'll be asking our guests on the channel today. Yeah. It's, not, it's nothing serious, just just basic question. So my first question is, how did you see camp? How was camp to you? Um, ladies first. Okay, ladies first. Okay, how was camp? Camp was interesting. Oh, the food, no. the food and the stress. The, those soldiers. <laughs> ah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> But I enjoyed and I met new friends and it was interesting. Okay, ah. so, so did you like her what? Ah, to some extent. I can't say I love her and I can't say I dislike her. It's compulsory, so I don't have a chance. <laughs> you will go. Well, camp for me was interesting because um, I was involved in a lot of activities. I met a lot of new persons, met, made some friends, and then to me, generally, it was fun. I think it was a few people that. Absolutely loved camp. Like I just I hated that camp ended. I wanted to go and see why here to be camp because I loved camp. I enjoyed camp. I mean, I went to boarding school for six years, so I'm used to the waking up early and like the routine kind of like be, be here at this point, be here at that point. I was used to that already. And just going and meeting new people in camp was everything. I mean, I'm a social person. I was in almost every activity. Plus, I had to be attending every social gathering because I had to be videoing for my vlog. So, almost all the social activities in camp, mm -hmm. I was there. It's mm -hmm. here, so I absolutely enjoyed camp. It was fun to me. So, that I went from camp and now we're outside camp. How, how is the social life in the United States? I'll start from you. Social life in the United States. Social life in the United States. Let's use the Ovary as a case study because we are Ovary couples. So, um, how do you see social life here? Well, I think um, everyone here is very social. You know, it's, we, this is Imo State University, mm -hmm. so we there are a lot of social activities mm -hmm. going on on campus here, and I think they are social. Though I don't really participate in them because I don't have the, you know, you know, you know you was, you was, you was. <laughs> I'm not really buoyant financially exactly. because things are a little bit expensive. You need money to enjoy the social yeah. events. So we only look at it from. From afar, we sit down and watch. We all look at something. I will talk about those that are in the village. Mm, that may be to you. I have not been to this. I hear from those people. Uh, what do they say? They, say? they have taboos and not. Mm. They have taboos there. Mm. There are religious barriers for Muslims here. Mm. Muslims are rare to come by. Exactly. That's exactly what all of these people are most there that are Muslim in this village. Yeah. How do you see that? I have a question about this. They have most, but very few. Very few mm. most. I mean, mm. I, because I, I wanted a Muslim person to be particularly in this video because I was like, the Muslims is very, they are very religious. Mm. Do they are, you know it. They are very religious, like mostly Catholics and they're Anglicans. Even we that are pure Pentecostal, it's not so, it's not so free like that. You get, they have, they do their, their catechism, their rosary and all of that. So they have reverence. There's a lot of reverence that's around. A father will get into a building, a very father will get into a building, and everybody's like, father, father, father. You get, I'm not from my kind of background, so there's a lot of cultural shock as, as it comes to that, which yeah. religion and all of that. Yeah, so things like that. Yeah, um, the last question is, do you think Imolites are welcoming? Do you think they are hospitable people? Um, yeah, you, uh, they yeah. have. What's your experience so far with us? For, for instance, my boss here, yeah. mm. there was a day I dropped a letter for him. I sent a letter to him through the security official and he couldn't reach. So when I came in, he was like, how are you? How are you feeling? No, we are good. Mm. And they are, they are nice people. So like on the streets or they normally do you think that they are very welcome with you? They are welcome. Okay. So what's your experience with like hospitality? Yeah, hospitality. 
Of course, there are drawbacks, but on the general note, I'll read them on the scale of 10, I'll read them 7 over 10. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah, they are quite, people like some people, they are quite welcome, I will say that for sure. So they are, I've not really had any strong opposition with people, people just being totally yeah. asking some people. So if, I, if they are speaking people, I say I can't speak people, they speak English. Yeah. Because they speak people in North, you get? I don't understand what you're saying that they speak English. And we we all love our language, so I don't blame no, you. No, dude, that's yeah. like you people with people that have one language in their states, they tell me that like we from Bayasa, we speak English a lot. Basically we just keep yeah. pitching because we don't have those one language no. in our state. So it's different like for Jubokena, she's still a rapper, so she's speaking very, very, very well. This guy is like a jogger, and we see each other every day, we don't speak each other. Just with each other, it's not our we don't try to love our language. I really do love each other. I wish I could speak it fluently, but I don't speak it fluently. Because we don't have one language and we speak. I, I don't yeah. think that's, that's, a Maybe, don't that's a problem. I don't think that's a problem. problem. The thing is, we, we are, our mindset is not geared in that direction. Mm -hmm. Like our upbringing and everything. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's not like. Language is composed. Yes, it's, 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 like a language it's not like we have just one language in Imo State here. No, but Imo is the general language. Yes, we can do that in our place. Just that. Good language, good language. We will be speaking each other. Each other. No, even in Yale, why are you joking? Just the fourth, fourth most popular language in Nigeria. After Igbo, each other is the next place. We are probably as each other in university, we are in Delta, in Delta, also in Udo. All the other Udo, all the other Udo, Udo. Let's enjoy each other. 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 Let's with the jobs, like, they, don't, they don't make you feel like the language is compulsory as such. Like in Yoruba land and uh, Igbo land, they teach their languages in school, yes, you yeah. see. But we don't have that in. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's, it's quite know. different. Because I went to a very rapid way in school, they were learning the three, three major languages. Even my school, in my other states, they were learning Igbo also in Yoruba. Yeah. That's it. That way, I mean, they don't learn our own language. We don't, we don't learn. Right now, they're trying to instill that in, in like younger college, younger students and pupils and whatnot. But me, when we were growing up, we just have to learn people outside you right now in school. And so, so you can speak with me. I know bits and both, so I can understand small school. So, just to pass the test and exam. Uh, basically, but I have a lot of bad friends, so when they are just there, I like what structure of this and they tell me, so I understand small school. Which you remember? And I also came back to you, and I said all the, all the time. <laughs> I'm trying to be full of my food. I'm saying somewhere. We're watching this video. I hope the farmers so good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. How do you find your food, Igbo food in Igbo states? Food in Igbo states? Well, I've not really had a feel of their various delicacies due to the fact that I stay in Omeri. And it's a city with a, a lot of persons from different backgrounds. So we try to live like city boys and city girls so but a few uh, delicacies i've come in contact with I, I think i like them i'm not really a person that likes tasting new food you like trying to have so don't try new food so what they need to write i think i like it no food i tried to buy this food no actually i've not tried it before then i was going to try it i actually tried it i'm always scared it's not too bad to try new food i'm not going to cross it so i don't i don't try new food a lot and with our bachelor, and then I had a bachelor before I came to the yeah. I know, I met my uncle is my son, Igbo woman, so she used to make a bachelor. Mm -hmm. mm. So I already tasted a bachelor. So coming here, a bachelor was not new to me. But I've never tasted a bachelor before, and very much bad. But I had it this morning. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Because okay. the smell is quite offensive. The smell is offensive right. to me. I don't like the smell, so I didn't want to taste it at all because of the smell. But then I tasted it today, and then. I didn't. I didn't love it entirely, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So, I, I think they, they, they beat my taste. Yeah, they beat my taste. So it's okay, I can have it next time. I, I, I don't know if people complain about the smell, but I don't have any problem, any issue with the smell. Do you know that? I don't know. Don't you know that? The wrap is yellow, it's the wrap is 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 the I try, I try, I try, try it today. I, 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 I like, I liked it. I think it was, it was okay. And now, let's get to the political scene. How do you see political scene in most states? Political scene in most states. Well, we are very fortunate to be around in the last election. And we saw a lot of stuff. We saw some things. Hey! Wala, wala. We saw that, as in from my perspective, mm. considering the number of 
contestants of the government. Very shocked that, that, that there was the Uche Monsu, there, yeah. yeah. there was Nitoara Rumi, there was Ikeo, Ikeo Akita, the former yeah. yeah. of the former yeah. of the former 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 of the with the former governor, and then he was having a woman as his deputy. That means yeah. the men vote. That was a very strong contender too. And there was no chance of him was having the backing of the governor because the governor's in law and governor wanted to win. And there was hope for the man of the of, um, APC. Uh, APC. And then there was uh, the APC. The 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 so there were five strong contenders in the state. Mm. The president in this state, it was crazy. I didn't do this. I was here. <laughs> Me, I was here as a copper, but not to the election, not getting involved. I didn't want to win. Ah. There was just, just so much to deal with. It was so risky. I couldn't do. And then they keep the people for the people for yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, yes, and don't go to the government to show you that they are really passionate about the states. They want to move the state. Mm -hmm. It means yes. they have a lot of able hands. Who or who saying they are able to like move the state to the next level? Everybody, that's what everybody says. That's what they can say. Everybody can be leaders. Of course, like, yeah. of course, but not everybody has a boldness to want to so, contest. Do you know what I think? Quite frankly, I don't know. George, but I'm thinking it's because. The thing was that I think the smallest is the majority of land mass, and then they have 27 local governments. Yeah, they have actually the smallest. Yeah, I think I know Abia. I don't even know Abia. According to land mass, they are one of the smallest. They are also like some other local governments. If you check it, they are small. They are small. I'm not thinking him. So in terms of land mass, they are about the smallest state in Nigeria. Almost. I'm not saying they are the only Lagos, I guess. In terms of land mass, and then they have 27 local governments. Do you know what that means? That means more money. For a small state like this, it's a total of local government. It means more money. I mean, more money is coming to a small state. It means there's more money to invest, so there's more money to enjoy. Because there's hardly anything going. There's hardly so much to develop. Do you? I don't even want to say that. That's what I'm just telling you. Because if there's a small local government in a very small state, there's more money in the states. And there's more money. So, and everybody wants to get to the end of affairs so they can start siphoning those funds. Because I don't see any good roads in these states. Yeah. As, that's one of the reasons they had a lot of money. Yeah. Because they felt like the previous government didn't do, didn't do enough. enough. So well, I heard the 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 Everything is not happening. I have not have to finish it before you invest it. Me, I have not seen any new road. Okay, no, he did some road. That I'm using road. I'm going to check the road. Yeah. He finished it. He did it. That was when I was in this service station. And then it's smooth for now. I mean, for, oh, no. like, for now, it's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. Because it's a new road. I even the one went round. That way, I wrote that Cherokee Junction sign. Yeah. yeah. That road was all of recent. Mm -hmm. Maybe those are the roads I'm talking about. Because I hardly see the roads in this station. Anyway, moving forward, we've talked about the spiritual life. So I'm not there. That's because we're not going to do it. Okay, now. We are all in two coppers. We are all serving at Innocent University. How do you see the issues of working in Innocent? Innocent. Innocent is not stressful. As much as we are not stressed. I don't think it's as stressful as we just walk low, walk low. We don't have much to do here. So I don't see. Do you enjoy serving here? Do you enjoy serving? In Himo or in Himo? In Himo, so particularly. Even in Himo, just in general, do you enjoy serving here? To some extent. Because of the language barriers and some things. <laughs> well, I'm saying the facts, that's the facts. Okay, you go. Well, Imsu, 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 Imsu is beautiful. Um, well, for the work we to I think it's, it depends on the department you're processing. Mm -hmm. uh, for people like us, we've been in between sometimes we work, sometimes we don't work that much. And then you see a lot of beautiful persons. On yeah. the campus, so and they're so just beside. This is not really this is why I enjoy working. This is the fact that it's like the young people. Like, yeah, it's nice. I the like girls it. are beautiful. The boys are handsome, and the ones that are not that are not nice. He won't say girls are tall. Have you noticed that? Yeah, they are pretty tall. They are more than average heights. They are like pretty tall. They want to make sure. They are both they are fair. They are fair. They are both they are That's not. And you want? I can back on the yellow. Like if this is yellow, it's yellow. Don't be too yellow. Don't be Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow is original. So yeah, I like that. I like that. I enjoy working in this. I enjoy working in this. I like that. I just don't get vibrant. I love the environment. I don't say anything. You love traveling. 
give me five. <laughs> <laughs> I said, did I clap? She said, what? She said she clapped. Okay, okay, I am clapping. Are you sure? I think my poster is being coming to the sunset. I love you, of course, but I don't. I really get the opportunity to travel. Yeah, I love travel. I said for us, so we have to open opportunity to travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone is <laughs> so yeah, that's our guest for ending the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming on my channel. Thank, Thank you very much. I really appreciate your contribution to my to this channel. Guys, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, we will sign up now. Thank you for watching. May God God bless you. Bye. Bye.